All right, I got my 12-inch Aperture uh, Dipsonian Telescope out. Uh, the sun is not down yet. We got a little sliver of the moon, and what I want to do is just focus on a little bit, see if I can catch anything passing by it. And by the way, I'm using my Sony A7S II under 4K, and we're running prime, meaning no eyepieces in there. It's straight through the scope, and that is the full power right there. All right, I have no idea what that is, pulsing like that. It's not an airplane. stationary it's moving with the with the stars I don't think it's a, a star or a planet well there's a star not too far from it that's what they look like not this flickering stuff to get over by it just to show you oh that's so cool look at that cluster of stars Goes an airplane. A jet. Satellite. What's that? I think that might be a nebula. Or a star cluster. I don't have my, uh, star map out on my phone. All right, I went back to 4K on that nebula or whatever it was and I'm at a quarter second shutter speed. I turned my ISO down just to see if I could clear it up a little bit. That was the satellite. I'm going to go back up the 120th shutter speed. That's the ISO cranked all the way up to 409,000. Right there is the Orion Nebula. Now there we go. I tried turning down the ISO. See it a little bit better. That's about it for now. I gotta get ready for work. Uh, there's other stuff. We'll see how it goes.
Or you found out what that is, that's the rose cluster. Or Messer 5. It's a little bit southwest where I live in the upper Midwest. And I'm going to keep the cam uh, telescope on it for a little bit. Probably zoom in. I just want to see if anything passes around it. Pretty neat. I don't have my eyepieces out to zoom in, but I'm going to try to digitally zoom in and turn the um, ISO down, darken it up. That was Saturn's ring laying flat with the moon, so I want to get a better shot of it. So that is Saturn with its rings. Just with 40 power, straight through, a person could use a phone on here, this 12 inch Dipsonian, to get that effect. I'm digitally zooming in, of course. Straight up, no uh, eyepieces. I don't think going to 1080 would help. I'm in 4K. Try it. First, let's brighten it up. definitely see the moons. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I'll put any more up or not, but if they got a clear night tomorrow, I may as well put a little bit more up. Right here's the sun with a solar filter on it. You can see a few sunspots. I'm looking at three in the camera, there might be more.
All right, if I can keep it still enough, that Saturn threw a 17 millimeter eyepiece. Digitally zooming in. I'm going to brighten it up so we can see if we can see moons around it. I think that's about as focused as I'm going to get. Get some dead pixels in there, but you can see the moons. Maybe turn it up a little bit more. There's a moon with a uh, 17 millimeter eyepiece in it. Okay, I just found another cluster. I'm not real sure what that one is. Okay, that is Messer Messier 10. Of flush of Now that right there is a M10, a globular cluster uh, with a magnitude of four point nine seven. You can't see it with the visible eye, of course. That's pretty neat. What's that? Well, that'd definitely be a nebula. Got a real bright satellite going on here. I gotta get back to the. No, heck with it.